It's that time of the year again when public school teachers are asked to present evidences of their dedication and hard work by submitting a portfolio of supporting documents. But with the new normal setup, let us now learn how to make an e-portfolio using PowerPoint presentation. Step 1 is to organize your files. We are all used to collecting hard copies of our documents, but this time, we need to have them scanned. Cam Scanner is a good app for that if you don't have a scanner at home. But, before sitting down to lay out your portfolio and insert these pictures, make sure your scanned pictures are grouped into folders and named appropriately for easier access later. Step 2. Save your Excel or Word files as PDF to make it easier to make screenshots of your documents in soft copy, especially if you're using the screenshot function of PowerPoint. Regardless of whether you want your PowerPoint presentation in portrait or landscape mode, Step 3 says it's best for you to make the table of contents first. This will allow you to plan the content and layout of your e-portfolio and will serve as your outliner guide when you insert documents later. Step 4 is to lay out your content and insert your supporting documents according to your table of contents. If you have modes of verification that appear several times, like your COT forms or lesson plans, you may place them in a separate section at the end of your slides. After inserting all necessary elements, it's time for step 5, which is to insert hyperlinks. It can be a shape, image, or text. This will allow your presentation to be interactive and easier to navigate around. All you need to do is click the element on the PowerPoint that you want to have a hyperlink. Then, go to the Insert tab and click the Hyperlink icon. You may choose the Existing File or Web Page button if you want the hyperlink to open an external file. It's best to edit this field below as just the file name of the document you want to open and to make sure that both the PowerPoint and the external files are saved in the same folder. Also, don't forget to send the external file to your heads or principals as well. You may also choose Place in this document button which means that clicking the element would just direct the reader to a different slide inside this presentation. You may assign the slide by selecting the slide on the list. You may also place a button on the rest of the pages of the portfolio that will act as a hyperlink that will lead the readers back to your table of contents. After you have added all the necessary elements, hyperlinks, and animations as you see fit, save your file as a non-editable PowerPoint show so that the raters of your portfolio will experience it as if it's an application or an interactive PDF. I hope that this helped you to level up your e-portfolio game. Please let me know if it did by leaving a comment down below. I hope you enjoy making your improved e-portfolio and I wish you the best of luck as you aim for that elusive, outstanding mark. This is Teacher KJ and I'll see you guys next time here at the KJ Teacher Channel.